Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I have an interesting little test to do today. Don't think of it as a scientific experiment, but I think it might be interesting. Um, if you've watched some of my uh, past videos, I, uh, I did one recently about a pellet trap that I built. And I built the whole frame, did it out of 2x4s. If you want to uh, check it out, you can go through some of my old videos and pull it up. And uh, the only thing I really didn't do was uh, put something in to kind of catch the pellets, because you don't want to just go firing them into wood because they eventually breaks so you're going to build another one so one of the things that i've seen that was really popular is the stuff called duct seal now i had never heard of this stuff before and what it is is kind of i, I kind of think of it as like super duper play-doh it's made by a company called uh garden gardener bender and what it is is uh, something that's put on ducts to seal the joints in hvac systems and uh, it feels kind of firm but has some give in it so i could see why it would be good in uh in uh, a pellet trap for that kind of thing now from what i've seen i've, I've seen people just get one package of this stuff uh, by the way this costs about two maybe about 290 295 a package it's for roughly a pound and they just kind of like layered it all on um which could be kind of pricey because my pellet trap 17 by 17 so it would cost like maybe 40 to 45 dollars i'm cheap so that's why i say it's pricey um just so you get an idea of the size of this thing let's see what you get now these are all a little irregular i'm sure they got kind of jostled around during shipping but it's basically about six and a half inches by about uh let's say two and a quarter inches and then thickness is, I think, about an inch, and yeah, it's just about an inch there. So what I'm going to do, because I'm curious, is I'm thinking from what I've read that one of these will stop a pellet. And so just in case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up two of them, and I'm going to shoot them from a short range. I'm going to fire two pellets into it. Uh, first pellet I am going to fire is a 25 caliber pellet, and I'll show you the can these come in pretty good pellets um, this is a pretty heavy pellet actually i think it's uh 25 grains uh let me see oh excuse me whoa 31 grains this is a 25 caliber 30 grain pellet and uh let's see here and it's a little bit of a hollow point there so we got one of those to shoot and again, this is the uh, H&N Sport Grizzly, 31 grains. So this is going to be moving pretty slow. Um, Energy-wise, I'm thinking it's probably going to be in the, uh, probably north of 20 feet, because it's not going fast. My rifle fires about 550 or so. Uh, it's a Hotson uh, uh, brake barrel, so it's not like a really great PCP rifle. It's just a very basic Hotson. Uh, I paid like $120 for it a couple of years ago. It's not a bad rifle, but it's very basic. Okay, next one I'm going to use is uh, the Winchester Ma Maximum Velocity. This is actually uh, an alloy pellet. I think it's ma actually made out of tin, and it's pretty light. I think uh, instead of being like, say, 7 to 7.5 grains, like a typical lead pellet, it's just about 5 grains. So it's actually going to get quite a bit of velocity, um, you can see how small that is Oops, compared to the 25 pretty tiny so what i'm going to do is shoot both of these rounds uh, into this and then we'll cut it open just see what kind of uh, penetration it gets um, now what i'm going to do is instead of firing this from you know 10 yards 20 yards away you know distances i'm more likely to do outside i want to be able to basically uh be, make this be as taxing as possible for the duck seal. I'm putting the muzzle right up against it because obviously, uh, let's just say, let's just say this pellet here delivers 10, 10 foot pounds of energy or 12 foot pounds of energy. If it's going to deliver 12 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle, maybe at 10 yards, maybe it might be 11, maybe at 25 yards, it might be, it might be nine uh, foot pounds. I want to see the maximum damage that it can do, which would be closer up and see how how it affects it because if i can if i see that this only makes it halfway through the block then i feel pretty good about putting uh you know maybe a one inch layer on it but if i see that it goes all the way through then I'll, maybe i'll need a little bit more than that just to kind of have peace of mind um like i said i don't see anything crazy happening because i don't really have any high-end air rifles um i think my most expensive one 
actually is probably this hot sun and that that cost about 120 dollars so it's not like i'm buying uh you know 1200 dollar air force rifles and i'm shooting 45 caliber of them um i overbuilt the pellet trap and i'm going to overbuild the uh build it with the duct seal so you know just want to make sure it's as good as it can be and yeah, we'll see how it goes so i am going to get everything organized i'll i'll set up the camera and we'll see how it goes Okay, so there goes our test. Pretty exciting, huh? Anyway, as you might have guessed, and I kind of guessed, the one that was behind the front, the second one, no damage at all. Nothing went through, okay? So we'll put that aside for now. Now, the one that was in the front, as you can tell, right here, let's get a handy-dandy pointer. We'll use my, my $6 attack force knife. If you could see right in there, you can still see that 25 caliber pellet. Uh, it looks like it, I'm going to cut this open in a second, but uh, just so you can see that, it looks like it's maybe down, I would say the, the skirt of the pellet's down maybe an eighth of an inch or so. Now, not so with the, uh, I'm sorry, the light's not good here, but the uh, the 22, the, excuse me, the 17 caliber uh, went pretty far in there. As you can see, I just kept it, give or take, an inch from the uh, from the duck seal, and it, it kind of plowed right through there. Uh, it did not come out through the back, and I don't feel anything there. So uh, I am guessing, like I said, it's so deep in there, it's casting a shadow. But I'm, I'm thinking it went through about three quarters of an inch. So you know, what, let's cut this open and see if we can kind of get an idea. And you know what, this stuff is actually. Um, it is pretty tough. I mean, granted, I'm using a $6 knife, so oh, please bear with me, but I think that actually speaks volumes about the, uh, the duck seal and the pellet, to be honest with you. Okay, so if we look over here. See, I went down there pretty deep after I stuck my big fat finger in there. So, I mean, I deformed it slightly, but, I mean, you could see, this was the top here. Went right there, so, I would say it made, it definitely made it a half an inch. Um, not, maybe not quite three quarters of an inch, but I, I would say uh, a little over a half an inch in it. So, um, I'm impressed with the duck seal. I think the duck seal did its job in stopping it, and uh, once you start cutting through it, it is surprisingly firm. I wasn't expecting it. To be quite that uh, that tough. Now I'm going to try and cut through this one without butchering it as I did the 17. This is like Play-Doh for HVAC guys. Kind of cool, I gotta tell you. Okay. Oh, I did much better here. And as you can see right there, that 25 caliber pellet didn't really make it in that deep. Uh, I would say the skirt of the pellet, maybe one sixteenth or so uh, below the below the surface, and uh, I'm just gonna peel away um, some of this. This doesn't really it doesn't really surprise me because this is such a heavy pellet. To be honest with you, um, a 25 cal like this, you would actually probably use in like a really nice PCP gun. So let's see how deep that one went in because this is a pretty large pellet actually. So, if you look at the tip of the pellet, probably went in almost a uh, almost a half inch. That's just because it's such a large pellet, you know. Versus this one that you know, when you look at the tip of it, might have actually been, you know, a little a little over. But um, pretty impressive. Like I said, I you know, I'm not going to try and generalize this. Like, you know, some sometimes people take firearms and shoot uh, and shoot. Um, ballistics gelatin and say look what this would do to an intruder that's not my intention at all as you could probably tell um, basically I'm doing this as a uh, like a personal experiment just to see is one inch of duct seal good enough for for certain rifles and uh, basically shooting five grain um, alloy pellets out of a thousand to eleven hundred foot air rifle it's definitely good enough um, shooting 31 gram, excuse me, 31 grain, 
That would be a heavy bullet. 31 grain um, pellets out of a 500 to 600 uh, foot per second, uh, 25, more than enough. Absolutely, definitely more than enough. So that gives me some confidence going forward. So that's really my audience for this is um, people who kind of, who are maybe building these pellet traps, um, wondering, is duck seal really as good as people say it is? I think it is. Um, the thing with me is if you're going to use uh, faster pellets, I don't know, maybe you want to put a little bit more in the in the sweet spot of it, maybe build it up a little bit more in the center, because that's where most, hopefully that's where most of your shots are going, where the bullseye is. Um, especially if you're going to use alloy pellets. Um, I suspect that if I had used a, say, 7.5 grain pellet that had 50% more weight, that this uh, the 17 might not have penetrated quite as much. Uh, I had also looked around and I had seen some um, some alloy pellets Actually, no, they were lead pellets that were a little bit heavier. They were like 10 grain. And uh, those you got to get online because I've I never seen those in stores. But um, they were about like 10 grains to 10 and a half grains for a 17. I suspect those would penetrate less. Um, plus, I believe these are also domed. So that's another thing. So that's a little more penetrating power there. So like I said, I just thought this would kind of be interesting just to see you know, another medium to see what your uh, pellet rifle can do, your air rifle can do, and uh, like I said, if you look for stuff to stop it, uh, two thumbs up for the duck seal. It seems to really do the job. Okay, uh, you know, if you'd like to see more videos like this where I kind of shoot stuff with air rifles, I'll try and find some interesting stuff. Uh, you know, give some thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you don't subscribe, subscribe. It makes me feel good. I have so little going for me right now. Give me some subscribers. All right, you guys, have a good day. See ya.